Okay, hey everybody, this is Carl from CarlSapti.com, and today we're going to be focusing on how we can make a basic table. So, the very first thing we have to do is realize the fact that in a table you've got rows and columns. So, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to go to our text editor and we're going to make a tab, uh, a tag called table row, which is the tag tr. Now underneath this, we're going to make another tag, which is called TD, which is where your table data will be. So let's call this one row one, column one. And now we can end the tag. So we can just do forward slash TD and in this same one we're going to make another one and we're going to call this row uh, we're going to call this row 1 so row 1 and we're going to call this column 2 so the fact that we have now got two different da uh, table data we should effectively get one table here and another column here so first of all let us see, so first, first of all let's close the table rows and let's control S or file save and now let's refresh the page and now we have this. Now this doesn't look too neat so what we're going to be doing before we make any more columns or rows we're first above here, uh, above the table data rows we're going to include a table border so we're going to have a uh, new uh, new open angles and call it table border and this is going to be equal to uh, 1 let's say and let's close this and now let's press control s again and then refresh the page and if you look here we have now got a proper table so we've got one row in column 1 and one and this in the same row we've got column 2 so we can make the border thicker so let's make it 4 and if you refresh the page now the border is much thicker the next thing we're going to be doing is adding more rows so what we've done here already is we've only made one row and that's all we can really make for now however if you want to make a second row then all we do is open up another table row and we're going to do the exact same thing so in our table data we're going to have row 2 column 1 and we're going to end this tag here for table data and the second one we're going to have is uh, in your table data will be your row 2 column 2 and let's end this and then we can end the table row tag because that now we are done with it. So let's first of all file save and now let's refresh the page and if you look here we have now got four cells so we've got row 1 and row 2 and row 1 and row 2 and they're both in their correct columns. So the, it doesn't make a difference what we call uh, the table data it can be uh, Jack and Jill if we want it really makes no difference these are just text or Jack and Jack so now um, what we can do is we can include a table header for the individual columns so the way we can do this is if we go to the table border press enter so we have a little bit of space between the table row and the table border we make a new tab called table header which is th and then we're going to have a heading such as header one and let's close and then let's close this tag so header one and then forward slash uh, th and now let's press save and now let's refresh the page so now we've got one of them and then to make the second one 
we all we have to do is do the same thing so underneath here we're going to make another table header for header 2 and we're going to forward slash and then save it and then we're going to refresh the page now if you look we have got two headers header 1 and header 2 which are automatically placed into bold text this is because they are recognized directly to be table headers as seen in the headers tag now after we so you can make this first if you really want and then you can make your table rows so over here we've got one table row which is represented here and the second table row which is this is represented here then all we're going to be doing is filling in the table data so the table data we've called as row 1 column 1 and row 1 column 2 and jack and jack and that's all it really is um, apart from that you can again if you watch my previous tutorials you can use this you can make a table and if you do want to realign it as in to a different part of the page uh, if you watch my other tutorials you will be able to know how you can move a piece of text or a table around the page thank you very much for listening this is Carl from carlsapti.com